so excited y'all we finally have got one of our things that we told you that we were going to get on the homestead put into place one of our systems and that is our propane tank this is a thousand gallon tank the thing's like 17 and a half feet long we're going to go above ground on it because i just don't feel like paying the money to bury it and it's no big deal for us to have the thing above ground so we're going to have this guy bring it out here I have limited space. You know, I talked about designing your homestead. I've got a lot of stuff packed in here. <laughs> They're having a tr trouble trying to figure out how to get the tank down where I need it. And that is gonna go back down here next to the grapes. This is the best spot for it. Sorry about the light here. The best spot for it uh, where they're not gonna roll over any sewer lines, which would be not good, any sewer tile or in the drain field or any supply to the sewer. I did want it back behind the house over there. I thought that would have been a better spot and it is a better spot. However, I don't want to take the chance of crushing any, uh, any lines anyway, because that's a big tractor and a big heavy tank. That tank is 2000 pounds and the tractor is who knows how, how many thousands of pounds, right? So they're going to hook this baby up, get it off that trailer and I'll take you along for the ride. Of course everything we do we always hit water lines here on the property because I had no idea where the old water lines were from uh, the previous owners so we hit one I knew that probably happened but no big deal I'm always always redoing water lines around here so whatever I'll mark it make a repair later Those guys are super fast. It was pretty easy to put that thing in and yeah, it's not as big as I thought it would be. That's a thousand gallon tank. We did cut that line down here, no big deal. It wasn't their fault. Those guys were super professional, super nice, and I really appreciate it. And they left me the stub out where I wanted it, right there at the corner of the house. I've got the second stage regulator that we will be hooking up and we're gonna run the lines black pipelines in the house and underneath the kitchen and the laundry room where they need to be. So we'll do a whole video on uh, doing that, whether I do it myself or not, which I probably will. Uh, maybe with a little help from a friend of mine. But yeah, so excited to get that done, that in. That is one more step that I talked about that we needed to take this year, that challenge that I gave myself. And now solar is going to go right behind me, right next to the grapes right there the grape enclosure and uh not enough to shade it so thankfully anyway <laughs> we've got those i've got in my cart i've got a 550 gallon rainwater collection tank 
And that is sitting in my cart waiting for me to purchase when I get a little extra cash. And there behind me, the greenhouse is done. We've got a video coming on that as well. So like I said, guys, redundant systems is the way to go. And do not mess around, all right? Don't mess around with small, here, I'm gonna put this regulator on the front porch, ah, right there so I can talk to y'all. Don't mess around, all right? Don't get a 250 gallon tank and then run out really fast. Don't, you know, just, of course, get what you can afford, but if you can get the thousand to start off with, do it. You can daisy chain them. So if you can only afford a 250, get it, but know that you're gonna be adding to that because that 250 is not gonna last you very long at all, especially if we have winters like we did this past winter, and especially if you live up north. But we're taking you along for the entire ride, the entire ride. Everything we're doing out here, we're taking you along for. So, you know what? I gotta, I gotta mention something. It's, this doesn't pertain to the video, but you need to hear this story. I got a comment this morning on one of my videos. It's doing really well right now. It's about the prepper pantry essentials, the 14 things you need in your prepper pantry. And there are some strange people on YouTube, all right? The gentleman said, someone's gonna come take that from you and you're gonna be laying in a bloody mess on the floor. And uh, that's kind of a creepy comment, but then he went on to say he eats sheeple, <sighs> they tans their skin, and is this guy like the Silence of the Lambs guy, or what? It's just absolutely the most creepy thing. I blocked him from the channel, but you know, there are people out there, if you're another homesteader and you have a homesteading channel, you know, guard yourself. We're gonna be doing a, a video probably in the next week, maybe two weeks, about some, some security cameras. Our entire fence is property, er, our entire property is fenced. And of course we have other means of de defending our family, pew pew, if you know what I mean. Um, but you know, there's some crazy people out there and uh, you gotta watch out for them because it's a little out of control. Anyway. That's enough about that. We are so thankful to get this propane in and now actually I've got to go buy new appliances But that was already on the list of things to get so my wife's gonna love cooking on gas once again Have a great day everyone. We love you. See you next time. Bye <laughs>